Hey guys, me and Alex are back and joined with our fairy friends, Fee and Bob. They, Penny's on my team. They never stay on that sofa. For some reason, as soon as we start filming, look, they're off. They literally go. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's nice to have they, them um, there for a moment. It's because they haven't signed a release form. <laughs> <laughs> they, want, they want too much money to be on, <laughs> on our channel. So me and Alex are super excited about today's video. Tim Marie, who you will remember, sent us a box right at the beginning, yeah, quite a few uh, videos back. But she has sent us a whole box of different flavoured Oreos. Yeah, we love Oreos. We love Oreos. And there are some here that we've never seen because I think some of them are limited edition. And when we've been to America, they've not necessarily been out. Mm. Let me just read uh, Tim Marie's card out. So she says, hi, Kate and Alex. This package is a thank you for providing such entertaining content on YouTube. One thing that fascinates me is that the same product can be available in the US and UK, but the flavor offerings are so different. That's mm. so true, isn't it? We would never have cherry cola, would we? No. Some are common and some are outrageous. It still amazes me that so many of you want to send us like things. Yeah. And the fact that you don't just send us a few things, you send us so much. All we of the have things. 10 packets of Oreos here. This is like well, I'd say kids dream, but actually adults love Oreos as well. Sure, this is just dream. a dream. So what do you want to start with first? I think Should we, do, we like... do like a little order of what we think yes. is be worst to best. And then we start with what we think will be the worst. Okay. So now we've got them all laid out. I don't know if you can see them here. Maybe they should be slightly closer. Yeah. We've got too many to fit on the workbench, so we've got two <laughs> lines here going from cherry cola, lemon, pistachio, mint, kettle corn, chocolate peanut butter pie, cinnamon bun, salted caramel thins, fireworks, and Kate thinks that the strawberry shortcake are going to be the best. I, so they're right up I here. I really do think so. So we're going to start at what we think is going to be our least favourite. Cherry cola. Maybe as we go, we should also do an order of what we actually thought was the best. Oh yeah, I think so. Also, these aren't just normal cherry cola. These are cherry cola with popping candy. Oh, that sounds cool there. Aren't these the best way to open biscuits? Yeah. Oh, wow. They do look cool. Oh, and they've got red on one side and, and white, white on, on the, the other. other. Okay. Oh, you can really smell that cherry cola flavor. Oh, my word. It's not just cherry. It really is like a cola flavor. And should flavor. we clear something up before we start? Cheers. In England, we call something like this a biscuit. Yeah, a sandwich So biscuit. if we call it a biscuit, that's because uh, we call cookies in America yeah. a biscuit. Because we wouldn't call this an Oreo cookie, would we? We'd call this an Oreo, Oreo biscuit. biscuit. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It does taste like cola. Mm. I'm getting more cola than I am. Cherry. Cherry. It's quite odd. Mm. Okay. I think if they'd done that, it would have been better with the golden. Because the chocolate is just too strong. Do you know what this tastes like? An Oreo. Yes and no. Oh my word. Oh, yeah, there is popping candy. Mm. It's a good amount actually. Okay, so I am someone who, if I eat chocolate, I either have to drink water with it, tea, or like milk. I think they are the only drinks that go well with chocolate. Mm. And I find it so weird when people dr eat chocolate and drink something like orange squash or whatever. Yeah. This tastes like I've eaten chocolate and then I've drunk a cherry cola. Yeah. So the flavor's there, but I don't think it goes. The flavors are there. Mm. Do I like it? I it's reckon, interesting. I reckon if you like cherry cola and you like Oreos, there's a good chance you'll like that. Well, I reckon if you're someone who doesn't mind drinking any drink with chocolate, you will probably like that. Mm. But I don't like the mix, but I like the popping candy. So these are lemon cream and it says actually natural flavor with other natural flavor. And this is such a big packet. Do you want to do the opening? Yeah, I'll do this. Ooh, and they look well stuffed. Oh, hold on. Didn't someone tell us all of the limited edition flavors are always double stuffed? Oh, are they? So you is can that really true? taste the rainbow. Let us know in the comments, are they always double stuffed if they're a different flavor? Mm. Depends. Mm. I've had that lemon flavour somewhere else. A lemon. Uh-uh. It's not one of those natural lemon flavours. Cheesecake. A lemon meringue pie. Tastes more like lemon meringue. Mm. Interesting. Mm. That's good though. They are nice. If you love lemon biscuits. Oh, mm. that tastes like a lemon drizzle cake. Ah, there we go. Well, it's obvious tastes, now. It tastes like lemon drizzle so cake. It's obvious now. Like lemon's not mm. my favorite flavor. I would rather orange really? Oreos, but that was a nice flavor actually. I wouldn't say they were second bottom. 
All right, should we go pistachio? Yeah. Should we open these ones? So oh, these nice. are new. Thin and crispy sandwich cookies. Oreo thins, pistachio cream, artificially flavored. Whoa. Thin, these they? really are thin. But the percentage of cream in the middle is really nice. And I love the color. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which one of these you've tried yeah. and which one's your favorite. Which one's your favorite and, and which you, is your least favorite? And if you want that to go the so whole thin. hog, why don't you put them in order of what you'd put them in? Mm. Whoa. So thin. I that's think that actually really nice. like almond a lot, doesn't mm. it? I don't really like it. You know, mm. I quite like it. In a weird way, I don't know if this makes sense, but it's kind of like refreshing. It tastes like um, almost marzipan. Yeah, that's what I mean by almond. Too. Yeah. I'm gonna put those second bottom for now. What do you reckon? I really like them. Really? I feel like I prefer them to the lemon. No, I prefer the lemon. That's really nice. Yeah. I don't think Maybe you'd like that. Mm, no, neither. Right. But I do actually quite like pistachios. Should we jump into the mint? Mm-hmm. Ooh, look how green they are. They're really green. They're like the Hulk in there, and they are really minty. Whoa. You smell them. Mint and chocolate's not my fave. I like mint and chocolate. Oh, yeah, they're... Milk and chocolate. I find that really refreshing, mint and chocolate, sometimes. I wouldn't have it as my standard chocolate, but especially like after a meal or something. Yeah. That's really nice. Quite right. pepperminty. Mm. Not spearmint. I like having an after eight. Breathe in. Breathe it's out, like Michael... American oxygen. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. It's like Michael was saying. Who's Michael? Mike. You um, said, I hate sweets that make my mouth cold. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And it's really good. It's not what I expect from an Oreo. No. I think that might be, for me, better than the lemon. You think? Flavour-wise, that mint tastes really great, doesn't it? Mm. It's a really good mint flavour. Really fresh and clean. Yeah. Sometimes through. you can get some not quite nice minty flavours, mm. but that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I just don't like mint and chocolate together. I do. That's like the perfect dessert. Like, if you were having a bit of a classy get-together, then I think they'd be perfect on the table. Also, shall we just say, quite, we've had quite a few comments recently saying what happens to everything once we finish trying. Yeah. Now, basically, whatever's left, well, it depends if me and Alex have scoffed all the chips or crisps yet, but usually what happens after we finish filming is we actually let our mum, our dad, like our sister, have a taste test, yeah. don't we? So they literally try everything and we have like a whole box of things that can last. So like yeah. the candy that's still in the wrappers. And we then put when in we a have box. friends and family over, we get the box out and we they get the all box get to out try and it. they have a little bit of a try. Or even if Bricky John comes around. Hi Bricky John, if you're watching this one. <laughs> yeah, Bricky John came around Bricky before. John gets to try some. And uh, yeah, they get to try some and it's really nice. And we tell stories of like where the candy mm. has come from. So it's really nice. It doesn't just live through this video. Yeah. It carries on after yeah, the video. In, in real life as well. And I know once these are open, we need to consume them quickly. But don't you worry, these will be going to friends, family. I was gonna say, maybe we could donate a pack to a group of people group of we people, know. Yeah. Okay, so these are kettle corn. So these are one of the uh, flavour creations. Yeah. I think this and could be a really good combination. I think so. It says with puffed millet pieces. Is that what a corn is? I don't know. Or millet pieces. Sometimes you can't get into them. Hey Google, what's a millet piece? According to Wikipedia, millipedes are a group of arthropods that are characterized no, by having two legs on this body segment. They are known scientifically as the class Lipopoda, the name being derived from this feature. Is it caramel popcorn or is kettle corn caramelly? Kettle corn is just... By nature. Maybe it's just like... Kettle corn the... is popcorn, Yeah. isn't it? But don't you think that smells caramelly or it, is or it is just that like the, the kind butter? Of, maybe. Butter caramel, Cheers. maybe. I feel what the mint in my mouth is popcorn. Mm. When you're eating it, it tastes like something else. Yeah. It tastes... Are you getting a coffee flavour? Mm. It almost tastes like um, the buttercream on a coffee cake. Mm. It does, doesn't it? Strangely, it does. But... I think it, it wasn't what I was expecting it to no. be. I would put this below lemon and mint. Just because I thought it was going to be good and I think I'd actually prefer a mint one. The more I eat it, the, the more I prefer it. Really? So for me, it's above the mint. Oh, really? But um, the aftertaste tastes like popcorn. While you're eating it, it tastes like coffee. But it's not, 
It's not like disgusting though, coffee. No, but, it's a but nice I would coffee. still pick, if I had this choice of all of these on a shelf, I would pick one of these others would apart you? from those, yeah. Moving on. Moving on. These are new. So I reckon some of these have been out for quite a while if they don't say new. This is chocolate peanut butter pie. It's a gram, we would say Graham. Graham. <laughs> Gram flavoured cookie, peanut butter and chocolate flavour cream, nat naturally and artificially flavoured. Do you want to this do the pause this time? Why, was it you last time? I don't care. Really? Oh, it's wow. another one of those ones where it's half. I love it when it's um chocolate on one side and kind of And the peanut butter on the other. Beigey. It smells Ooh. quite peanut buttery. So I wonder if you have these back at home, do you buy all of one flavour first oh. or and then buy the other flavour or do you go down the middle? And my question was gonna be, are you a dunker? Are you a twizzler? I don't know if that's what it's called, but oh, some, some people open it and scrape it off with their teeth. Mm. And the, Cause these aren't normally gram biscuits, are they? It's gram flavour in the biscuit. So it is more like oaty tasting. I think cause it's trying to be the gram mm. of a pie, isn't it? I don't know what I mean. I think they've yeah, done you it. Can yeah, and look, it's a darker biscuit. Mm, much darker. Mm. Much darker. That's what I mean. I don't think that would make that much difference. No, but it, it has. No, it really has. Mm. If you love peanut butter, you'd really like these. But do you know what I quite like about this? What? It doesn't taste overly sweet. Yeah. It's not like, ooh, my teeth are going to fall out. It's like a natural peanut butter. Yeah, and the peanut butter isn't too sweet either. It's not like they've gone, oh, peanut butter, but we'll make oh, yeah, it sorry, sweet because it's a biscuit. Oh yeah, sorry, that's what I was meaning, the peanut butter. But it's more, it's not, because a lot of Oreos are very sweet. Mm. Whereas that's a bit more. That's, this is like really natural. It's more drying. You know how peanut mm. butter can be drying? It's a bit like that. I think that's really nice. I don't think you could end up eating too many of those. I feel like this is actually like you've taken a scoop of mm. peanut butter and put it on, and they've not put a load of sugar into that. Yeah. Being that's not very peanut fun. butter, the biggest peanut butter well, fan. You're getting there, aren't you? I'm Kat? getting there. You're doing your best. I'm doing my best. I think um, I think that's actually got a really nice flavour mm. to it. Oh, it does, not it? But I'm holding out for these to be my favourites. Yeah. Is, do you think this is really weird that I'm sat on the side? I bet you look like Ace Ventura there. Well, he is my hero. <laughs> <laughs> when he's in the ballet tutu yeah. and he's solving a cross. <laughs> your hair can sometimes look like this as yeah. well. <laughs> Okay, cinnamon, cinnamon bun. I'm excited for this. So this is cinnamon cookie. Yeah. Oh, so do you think it's cinnamon cookie with like um, cinnamon like a, bun flavored cream? So they've obviously. So the cream in the middle is going to be like the cream, and the biscuit is going to taste like the bun. No, but it does also say flavored cream. So I reckon they've made the cookie cinnamon. Yeah. And that cinnamon bun flavored. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's or is it I saying, look, oh, these go the other way? Oh, yeah. Or if they turn around in the packaging. Or is it the different size ones? No, they're the same size. They, they're going that. Oh, my word. How weird. How funny. Yum. It's less strong than I thought it was going to be. Well, Pungent. We don't have lots of cinnamon stuff. No, here. we really don't. In America, you have a lot more cinnamon flavoured desserts. And they can quite often be quite strong, can't they? And that's the same with pumpkin. For some reason, here over in the UK, mm. we don't have much pumpkin or cinnamon. We do, however, now, mm. because of someone tweeted the other day saying, is the pumpkin spice a big craze in the UK? And mm. I said, well, it's not as big of a craze as the US. However, since Starbucks, I feel like it's now a craze because of the pumpkin spice Instagram. latte and since Instagram. Mm. But still, we don't have many cinnamon things. No. I really like great. this. great. I think this could be a mover-upper. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it here. This well, is really delicious. I would say not too much cinnamon. It really does taste like a cinnamon bun. Yeah, but it gives it enough extra that you think, mm. I'd rather have that than a... Well, actually, I still really like classic mm. Oreos, but oh. special, especially double stuff. This is really nice. And if you want to go the extra mile, put some on a plate and drizzle over some icing. Could you imagine doing like a cinnamon bun? You know, you made that cake out cake. of Oreos, like an oh. Oreo cake with a cin, and then do the cinnamon drizzle over the top. Mm. Uni lad, come at us. <laughs> <laughs> that was delicious. Really, really delicious. I wonder how these salted caramel thins. I know. I'm, I'm not, honestly, after having those last thins, I'm not particularly blown away by the thin experience. Are you not? 
In some ways, I quite like the thing. It's too thin. I like to feel like I'm actually. Did I do the last one? Are you? All right. Who has tried the McVitie thins, the McVitie digestive thins over here in the UK? Oh, thank you. Um, I really like them. They smell um, like salted caramel. Don't say cheers. 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 Um, would any of these go great with beer? No. You need a savoury Oreo for that. <laughs> oh my word, could you imagine if they ever bought out a savoury one? I right, come. Cheese fondue. Oh wow. I'm going to email them. So I've seen there that you've put these down. Yeah. They're just not... I think it's partly the, the flavour is slightly underwhelming. Although it is good. I just don't think it's as good as the cinnamon The experience. cinnamon bun was amazing. Because they're the chunkier Oreos. And as you say, these special ones, they're almost like double stuffed. Mm -hmm. And the flavour's great. Whereas these, for me, as an eating experience, are too thin. And the flavour's just a little bit too mild. I don't really get enough of that salty Ooh, caramel. Oh, I got quite salty at the end. I'm trying you to think what salty. that caramel tastes like. What about a um, butterscotch? Like a butterscotch That tastes sauce. more butterscotchy. Mm. I would say that's really nice though. And if you're looking for a lighter biscuit, yeah. but still want the normal. I'm not putting them down, although no. I literally have. But I just mean these are better. We've only got two more. Fireworks. Can you believe this is already Baby on the last two? Do you think these ones were named after Katy Perry? I wonder. So Do you reckon these are, she loves Oreos? I reckon. When Do she start you kissing girls. Like, like a plastic, plastic bag. bag. Do you ever feel like an Oreo bag? Drifting yeah, I bet there's a lot of these drifting across America. <laughs> <laughs> so these are firework, Oreo firework, limited edition. I reckon these came out around the 4th of July. these are with popping candy as well. These are with popping candy. I wonder what the f if there's going to be much flavour or it's more about the sensation. Are they going like, to be a bit like Funfetti? Because it doesn't say a flavour. So I reckon these are normal Oreos, mm. but with popping candy. And double stuff. And double stuff. Wow. Although it's a bigger pack, look, they're a lot looser. They're a lot, yeah, I reckon they don't put as There's many in. There's not as many in here. Look, no, no, another straight. Oreo could so fit in there, if yeah. not two. On each line. Oh my word, this is how they get um, the prices higher, but less oh, yeah, in just... there. It doesn't smell like any flavour, just popping candy. Well, it smells like popping candy. This would be really cool to scrape the buttercream, the, scrape the cream out and use it as the, in a recipe. If it's really popping. <laughs> Not as much as the Pop Rocks, but... Oh no, they should have teamed up with yeah. Pop Rocks. <laughs> and almost as you bite it, there's a little bit of crunching, isn't there? Mm. I have to say, I really like that, because I'm an Originals boy. I like the chocolate biscuit, I like the double stuffed cream. Mm -hmm. there I just don't think you can go wrong, really. I think there might be a slight flavour different, not on purpose though, just from the popping candy there's a bit of flavour. Mm. Could you let me know if these come in golden Oreos? I feel like I would prefer it in golden Oreo. I do still like it oh, I though. just love the chocolate flavour from the biscuit. Yeah, they are really nice, but I wonder if they do gold, uh, golden. And this? They are really good. It's for you to open. Really? I'll just open the last one, thank you, you. Oh look, this is, you see that there? That's the wall sign. Do they yeah, get walls in America? Yeah, I no. didn't think you said walls though. No, I didn't say walls, I said good humour, because I'm guessing that's what it's called over there. So these are strawberry shortcake Oreos, cookie with strawberry flavour bits, so there's strawberry flavour bits in the cookies. Yeah. Artificially flavoured. And then obviously... Is it funny how cream. some they're like, yeah, natural flavour, and then others they're just like, yeah, it's artificial. And then on the back, try these delicious varieties, cinnamon bun, got, red velvet, we have actually right, already tried. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. they are pretty. How sweet are those? They're so nice. These would be amazing for like a um. Well, I can smell it from a here. A gender reveal party, or like it's a girl. <laughs> gender reveal cake. These smell divine. Love it, divine. Love it. Strawberries in there. Cheers. Yeah, strawberries in the biscuit. I think this is going to be good. Heaven. I'm so glad. In some ways, I was like, oh, I feel like we should do the good ones first. Mm. But I'm so glad. We left these till the end. I feel like what's in the cookie is more natural strawberries mm. and there's like freeze dried in there. Oh wow. Don't you think this almost tastes like our jammy dodger? Yeah. And I've said before, I don't like artificial strawberry, which these are, but they are amazing. Mm. The golden biscuit with the strawberry 
It was just so fresh and delicious, isn't it? As I've said, I'm a chocolate biscuit original cream boy. And so for me to think these are probably the best Oreos like ever they, tried. These would be nice in the chocolate ones. Ooh, maybe you could do half and half. Mm. Take a okay, lid off. You go, I'm gonna experiment. These are amazing. I'm really trying to work out that flavour though, because we've had something it's just strawberry. like it in the UK though. Oh wow. I wonder how <laughs> many people so are nice. home Frankenstein there. Almost a potato heading. <laughs> that good. Wouldn't it be great mm. if you had a sibling or a friend or whatever? who didn't like the cream in the middle. So you would take their ends. Quadruple stuffed. Convince them to always buy double stuff. And you've got the, you know, quadruple stuff. Mm, mm, mm. I've worked out that what that is. Of what? It's not the same anymore, because apparently they've changed the recipe, mm. but Nestle used to do a strawberry milkshake powder. Oh, it is, like Nesquik. Mm -hmm. Strawberry Nesquik milkshake but powder. just on its own. Yeah. Bit oh, good. I, I wonder if Oreo would ever sell them without the butter, without the cream. Imagine just having a biscuit, yeah. an Oreo biscuit. Not funny. Oh, these are a 10 out of 10, aren't they? Mm. Let us know, even if you haven't been able to get these in your country, let us know what would be your top pick. Yeah. Mine is definitely the strawberry shortcake, and then I'd say close behind, we've got the cinnamon bun the firework Oreos, and I do actually really like these salted caramel thins. What would yeah. be like your top four? I think my top four are the strawberry shortcake, the fireworks, mm -hmm. and coming in third is the Cinnabon. And then- And I think four would be the peanut butter for me. And my least favorite three, <laughs> the cherry cola Oreo, the pistachio thins, and the corn, kettle yeah. corn Oreos. I'd say my least favourite are the cherry cola, the lemon, and maybe the mint or the kettle corn. Mm. Oh, I actually really surprised me like that pistachio. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really nice. That was surprising. Oh, that was delicious. I can't wait to eat more so strawberry good. shortcake Oreos. What a great excuse to <laughs> eat a load of Oreos. If you just said to someone, oh, I just ate 10 Oreos, they'd be like, sorry, what? <laughs> if you're just like, we were just filming a video. Hold I on. had to eat 10 Oreos, so. You just had 10. What, well, you've had 11 or 12? Oh yeah, because I did you had that a double, double one. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 150 times? I don't count, I don't count calories. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Tim Marie, for sending us this amazing box. You've also sent us the Miracle Berry, which I cannot wait to try. If you've not heard what a Miracle Berry is, you basically take this tablet, I think mm. you chew it so it's all in your mouth, and then apparently it makes sour things sweet and sweet things sour. So I need to go out and get some things to Sounds go with cool. it. I can't wait. I really can't wait to try that. Did you enjoy that? I love this. I love Oreos as it is, so to get yeah. all, try all the exotic flavors is so cool. And the fact that we have so many left over is so exciting. And if you'd like to try British snacks and biscuits and things like that um, we have a candy box we also have a snack box which yep. is more biscuit and crisp based yeah um, and we'll leave that link down below and up there go check those out thank you so much for watching and thanks so much Tim Marie we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya